Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the conditions for the nitration of benzene. You should then be able to describe the mechanism for this reaction. In the last video we saw that benzene reacts with electrophiles by electrophilic substitution. In this video we're looking at how to nitrate benzene, forming the product nitrobenzene. Nitrobenzene is used to make explosives, pesticides, dyes and pharmaceuticals. I'm showing you the conditions for making nitrobenzene here and you need to learn these. In this reaction we're using concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. And the reaction is carried out at 50 degrees Celsius using a water bath. Now a key idea you need to understand is that the concentrated sulfuric acid is acting as a catalyst in this reaction. And that's why the sulfuric acid is written above the arrow. OK, now this reaction consists of three stages. In the first stage we form the electrophile. First the sulfuric acid donates a proton to the nitric acid. This forms protonated nitric acid and the hydrogen sulfate ion. The protonated nitric acid now loses a water molecule to form the nitronium ion NO2 plus. And the nitronium ion is the electrophile in this reaction. I'm showing you here the overall equation for the formation of the electrophile and you need to learn it. In stage 2 a pair of electrons from the delocalized electron structure of benzene forms a dative covalent bond to the nitronium ion and we make an unstable intermediate. So as you can see the nitronium ion is acting as an electrophile. Now in the intermediate the delocalized electron structure of benzene has been partially broken. So now the electron pair between the hydrogen and carbon atom moves down into the delocalized electron system. We've now formed our product molecule nitrobenzene. We've also formed a hydrogen ion H+. In stage 3 the hydrogen ion combines with a hydrogen sulfate ion from stage 1 and this regenerates the sulfuric acid catalyst. OK, so in this reaction we've made nitrobenzene and you'll be seeing nitrobenzene again in the topic on amines. Now I just want to end on one final point. As we saw the nitration of benzene is carried out at 50 degrees Celsius using a water bath. At this temperature the rate of reaction is relatively fast. However, if we use higher temperatures then we increase the chance of a second nitration reaction. This would form the dye substituted product 1,3-dinitrobenzene. So it's important to keep the temperature at 50 degrees Celsius to reduce the chances of this. In the next video we look at the bromination of benzene.